Hello everyone, I am gonna show you how to draw GeoJSON on Sysium.js which is an open source JavaScript library to create globes and maps. I will use the Spring Boot backend project I developed in this geospatial workshop tutorial to retrieve GeoJSON data. The link is in the description section if you haven't watched it yet. Ok, let's start with downloading Sysium.js. Sysium.js is a highly capable open source library. As you can see, it has lots of features. I will use it as frontend for my following GIS tutorials. Click download now and download from here. Extract the zip file and open the folder in Visual Studio Code. There are some sample apps here and I will use Hello World for demo purposes. Here the system.js library is included and a style is given here. A div placeholder is declared here and a system viewer is initialized like this. I will use live server extension to serve this sample application and to see the changes instantly as we develop. After installation, you can start the server by right clicking and open with option or just by clicking the go live button in the right corner. And here we have hello world system.js is running. Let's remember our backend site. We had defined a special lab repository. We have special lab entity to persist and retrieve the data. And we have a REST controller that returns our entity in GeoJSON format. Here is the table and the items we persisted in the tutorial. We have polygon geometries here and we will draw them on our frontend. Start the application. Get one of the items by using this endpoint. And here we have the polygon in GeoJSON format. Search for System.js GeoJSON draw. Open the GeoJSON data source documentation and here we have an example here. Copy it. Paste it here. Look at the documentation of load method. It can take a URL, GeoJSON object or TopoJSON object. We will use the GeoJSON object. Copy our polygon GeoJSON and paste it here. Refresh the page and we have it drawn here. Let's change the color and stuff. Yes, it is reflected. I don't want to zoom manually on each time. I'm gonna take coordinates of a point near here using Google Maps and I'm gonna use the Fly2 feature of System.js to zoom here automatically. Search for System.js and Fly2. And here is the documentation. Copy the sample code and paste it into our sample project. But be careful, it expects longitude, latitude and height respectively. We need to give the coordinates in reverse order we take from the Google Maps. Let's turn the height property to see it a bit closer. Yes, it is nicer. Now we want to get GeoJSON dynamically from our REST API instead of giving it hardcoded like this. 
I am putting this in command. I'm gonna use jQuery to make get request to our REST API endpoint. Download it from here and put it into our project. Include the jQuery GS file like this here. I'm gonna use jQuery Ajax to send our requests and here is the documentation. Define base URL as our backend application base path. Prepare the request like this. In the successful response case, draw the polygon, taking it from the response body. Okay, let's try it. We have a problem. The polygon is not drawn. Let's see why. And here we have a cross origin request error. I'm gonna overcome this error by putting a cross origin annotation here. This will allow all requests that come from anywhere. In production, you may need a more secure solution, by the way. And yes, we have our pretty polygon here. Let's refactor our code a little bit by defining a draw JSON function. Okay, let's try with other items in our DB. Yes, that's how we change the GeoJSON to draw dynamically. Okay, let's review the code again. We included the libraries here, the draw GeoJSON function, fly to call to auto zoom to the point, and the get request. We have put these changes in Hello World sample file in apps directory. That's it for now, thank you for watching, see you on next video.